the budget you have in front of you uh, reflects the uh, year 16 of the legal department operating in-house. Uh, the legal department at present uh, operates at, at such that all expenses when factored into uh, the personnel who are there runs at a rate of $95 per hour uh, cost to the town. That includes all benefits. Um, outside counsel, when outside counsel is, is, is uh, hired, uh, runs at a rate of anywhere from 200 to $325 an hour. Um, in the last year, we've had a number of major accomplishments in the department. Uh, first of all, we had a major litigation in February in the Rockingham County Superior Court on a case uh, where a layout of a road had been denied by this board. Uh, in June of this year, the court upheld the, the uh, selectman's majority decision, and uh, that case is now on appeal from the other side to the New Hampshire Supreme Court. Another thing that we've done in the past year, and it took about a year to do this, was a number of major documents uh, involving provision of sewer and water uh, came into play with the approval of the Cornerstone development, which is now under construction. And uh, there were a number of unusual features having to do with the location of the sewer line and uh, whose responsibility that would be. And after about um, nine months' worth of intense negotiations, the, all the documents were prepared in such a way that enabled that development to go forward in a way that was uh, good for the town and will involve the upgrade of infrastructure so that there will be uh, service to uh, enlarged number of users in the Liberty Lane West area. Uh, we have also had a number of uh, other document reviews that are passed through from the planning board. Those are uh, very labor intensive matters uh, and side by each with that we have major proceedings going on having to do with wells in of Aquarian Water Company which have found to have uh, uh, PVCs I'm sorry, PFCs in those. And uh, those have uh, uh, involved interaction with federal and state agencies, uh, the Coakley Landfill Group, and uh, have played out in, an, in the uh, Eversource Aquarian acquisition. And uh, that has involved some major and intensive interaction with Aquarian over the course of the entire summer. So the budget you have in front of you uh, reflects a 4% uh, increase in regular wages due to uh, merit increase that the board uh, granted after reviewing the accomplishments of the department. Uh, it also involves the addition of uh, one other uh, personnel. Uh, over the summer we had a very successful experience with an unpaid intern from the uh, UNH Law School. Um, he had completed his first year of law school and uh, was willing to come and work for us uh, for the summer and uh, accomplished a number of items that uh, had been hard to get to items and uh, we would like to continue that program and so uh, hiring a second year law student who would uh, have even more experience to bring to, to the town's benefit uh, I had proposed initially a uh, summer intern position of, uh, with a $4,000 stipend over the course of a 12-week of a period. Uh, management, when it received that request, uh, actually um, uh, dropped that particular one and added instead a, uh, an intern, not, not an intern, I'm sorry, a paralegal position uh, that would run at uh, 20 hours a week, uh, $25 per hour, uh, for 30, the 39 week balance of the uh, of the uh, funding year. Uh, that position would be very helpful as well. As I've said, we have many labor intensive document reviews to perform that actually uh, take away a lot of the time that's needed for litigation matters and we have some important litigation matters to deal with. And so um, I would support that request. Um, the other increases have to do with um, under litigation expenses. We had budgeted uh, previously uh, the sum of five thousand uh, dollars. We've increased that to uh, fifteen thousand uh, dollars. As we've heard before, a number of the matters we're dealing with having to do with contamination of wells 
uh, involves some very discreet engineering expertise that's being provided by Professor Thomas Ballestero uh, and of the University of New Hampshire in the hydro hydrogeological field. And his, um, already for this year, the, the board had uh, budgeted an extra amount and the problems that he's helping us deal with are going to be ongoing, I believe, into the next year. And for that reason, you see the increase there. Um, a number of matters, the board has um, uh, approved the use of outside counsel for, some in which I have a conflict and others in which there are particular areas of expertise. And that is why you see uh, the, uh, because those will continue forward into the next year, um, pursuing matters that are of great benefit to the town. Uh, we've uh, doubled the amount requested for uh, outside council fees. And as I've said, the cost of outside council, particularly the kind of quality council we're using, uh, is uh, several times the rate that are paid for my office. And that is that. Is that. Questions? So for let's say this year, instead of having an intern, you would have a paralegal, this is a proposal, 20 hours for the whatever it is, 14,500? Yes. yes, that's that's correct. It's okay. actually 19,500, so the admin took out the $5,000 for the... Oh, okay, so it's... So the admin increased it by 14,500, but the paralegal position... Is getting that... Is actually 19,500, that's... Hours a week, $25 an hour for 39 weeks. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. That's all I have for questions. Thanks. No, I think Mark's done a remarkable job this year. Uh, uh, and obviously, he, there's been other stuff that's gone on that he might not have been able to get to because of everything he's had to do. And uh, I think it's time we do look at a paralegal, at least for a part time position. I'd like to um, hear uh, what Mr. Welch has to say about this. Paralegal can be a very effective position because they're certainly well trained in, in legal proceedings. They are the right hand of the attorney in this particular case. Uh, we do not have that person on staff at the moment. A part-time person for a paralegal would fit conveniently into the hour blocks we have for existing employees working because we have a part-time administrative assistant to the, to the town council who works half a day. A paralegal would work the other half of the day. So we would be using the same position or the same seat, so to speak, for both people. And we'd actually have a full-time employee there per se. Uh, that would help a lot, but the paralegal can do a lot of work the council ha has to do now. He has to do all of his own research. He has to do all of his lookups that need to be done. He has to do all of his research in, in legal cases, and, and, and these can all be done by someone else, and he can be more productive in taking care of the litigation that the board has voted and taking care of litigation that comes forward into the town, which is the majority of litigation. Uh, we, we don't go looking for cases, but they seem to find us for some strange reason, and they require a tremendous amount of work to get them done. Uh, we, have, we have a motor vehicle case that we're working on now for a minor accident that I would say, given the amount of paperwork that I've received between the insurance company and the legal department, has probably taken somewhere in the area of close to 100 hours of the town council's time because of the work he has to do in the background in doing all the research. That could be done by other people. He could be much more productive in other areas. Thank you. Bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I support your budget enthusiastically. Uh, I note in uh, uh, your damages and judgments uh, line, uh, it's not applicable. There, there have been none under your tenure uh, this year. You perform remarkably. We have a, a confidential memo listing some of your what is now public tort uh, pursuits some of those defenses that you've done on behalf of the town, uh, your um, paralegal uh, need and requisite is, is uh, long since overdue. Uh, when we reinforce the command element up here with um, Mr. Sullivan as the assistant town manager and his personal uh, director, you were deprived uh, in a very meaningful way from your uh, other legal counsel, and that has vanished. Uh, you never complained, you never whined, uh, and you never lost the case. I would move the budget for legal as presented. 
Second. Oh, I'm going to let oh. <laughs> I may. You may. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Four percent on the salary. What's that? The board uh, voted that after as part of a merit raise uh, okay. after review. So that was going into next year's budget, not this year's budget. Is that is any of that in this year? Oh yes, it, it, it was retroactive to April one. Okay. As was everyone else's increase. Yeah. So. So this it's not year, another, it's not it would another, already be up this year, right? It's not well, another 4% on top of the 4%. It's not another 4%. It's the one that the, the board approved. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm more, I don't know, I, I, I see 36.05%. I'm, I'm more against it. I'm against the paralegal myself. I just think, from my point of view, I think we do too much litigation. I think we could solve, cut this down a little bit, get a little more streamlined in it, and... Uh, you know, I, I know I'm in the minority, but uh, yep, that just my feelings. I'll withdraw my second. I I don't want. I would. I think that we should probably. I think I should. I would want to pass this budget, but I do have a question about it because Mark, I know the work you've done, and a lot of it is confidential, and we can't really explain a lot of it to the people watching tonight. But it is. You've done a great job. And we've had to go outside council a few times, and you know what, that's good. Because that brings independence, and that shows that we're doing what we're supposed to do. And like Mr. Bean says, damages, damages and judgment, nothing. But my question I do have is, and maybe the town manager can help me out, or Christy, um, on lines, collective bargaining costs, and other labor costs, is that something, we have it the same as we did last year, but we haven't spend any this year could someone explain that what well could someone explain it to me we have to carry <laughs> excuse me we have to carry costs for li for labor contracts and collective bargaining costs occasionally we have to go out and, and and do outside resources for that material that money has to be there in case we do we try not to spend it we have a very good in-house collective bargaining team Right. Previous to the, the the current arrangement we have for collective bargaining, which is in house, we were spending something in the order of a hundred to one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a year. So that's been removed from the budget. Right. So we've removed over a hundred thousand dollars a year, and we have this fifteen thousand dollars here for safety. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. I don't have any further questions, and I would second the motion to uh, move this budget. Okay. We have a we have a motion. We have a second. Uh, any other discussion? You know, okay. I think we should have more discussion about it. Okay, well. For, about your points. Okay. But we have a motion in a second, so we're going to have to take a vote. I mean, that's the way it is. Talk away. You're the chairman. But no, no, no. I'll say. finish my discussion, what, what I've said. Well, I mean, if Rick has something to say, let's well, hear Well, you know, you mentioned about, um, I want to make sure we're all on the same uh, uh, position here about our... It, is there too many? Uh, is there too much being pursued? Well, I would answer that, and uh, is is one when I was the chair um, for uh, the evaluation, real estate evaluation, of the largest piece of property in the town, and it was farmed out to outside counsel, and this board voted unanimously to pursue uh, litigation. That is public. That is uh, perhaps a seven-figure uh, dollar. Uh, amount that could uh, see to the town. Mr. Welch doesn't uh, appear to have any judgments against us. He has uh, been victorious in his pursuits. Uh, he's been effective at uh, state regulatory agencies. I have every confidence uh, with his, and this is public knowledge, when we're talking about uh, tort actions, and we heard public comment about that tonight. Um, do we just say um, there was a uh, perhaps uh, professional liability for up to seven figures, and we're just going to let it go. We have a $41 million project down at the uh, sewer plant that might need to be done, but it's only uh, seven or $800,000, and people raise this issue, and uh, people are saying that uh, we shouldn't do it. Well, uh, when people are paying five, six, ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in taxes, and they, they struck my name on the ballot, I sure as heck, and especially as a business owner, uh, don't want to have them come up to me and uh, uh, say, well, you know, 
it's only a, a million dollars. Just let it go. When we have state issues and there's a contractual obligation and we do not have anything for a legal contract with the state, and people say, let's get along. We just did a $24 million school build-out project that's going on where, where I went to school. Do we just say, well, you know, it's, it, it appears to be that the finance director has come up with about $700,000 a year. Let's just let that go. Now we're up to $2 million. Uh, and we are doing this in addition to what this fine esquire does for a $26 million corporation with real estate values pushing $4 billion with over 200 employees. Uh, I say when legal issues arise, uh, we have an attorney and this board has voted. Now, if people uh, want to rescind motions and do that, put it to the vote. But I will tell you, uh, if we pay policemen in this town, and if there's crime, we expect them to make an arrest. If there's a fire in this town, we expect a fire truck and an ambulance and mutual aid if we have. If there's people at the line at the town clerk to register a vehicle, we expect them to do that. Now, if we don't want to use the town attorney, we want to walk away from millions and millions of dollars, uh, you won't get my vote on that. You won't have me having people come up to me in this town when I'm walking around and saying, no, oh, you're letting a couple of million bucks go good. Let's get along. Count me out of that debate. Count me out of that, and I don't think it's excessive. Uh, get along. I don't know. That's, that's psycho babble to me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah, I would just like to say that um, this year that Mark has done a lot, uh, and there's been <clears throat> much asked for him. Um, on the other hand, we have had some problems with some of the uh, outside people that we've hired, and I would like to see restraint used in the future that we wouldn't, help, you know, more in what you're saying, um, and using less. But I will say that Mark's done a very good job this year. I never said Mark didn't do a good job, and I never I said that. just get along and give up money. So I don't know why somebody wants to put words in people's mouths, but that's all right. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, if that's it, me, uh, I've heard that uh, we've got to get along and we should have restraint. I'm talking legal issues. I'm talking Board of Selectmen votes, and I'm not talking getting along. I'm talking Board of Votes, and I'm talking motions, and I'm talking tort actions, and I'm talking legal contracts. I don't talk about getting along in psychobabble. I'm not going to get a, uh, in a tour. Thank you. I appreciate it. But please don't put words in my mouth. Thank yeah. you. It, it, please, don't, please don't say that I am, Mr. Chairman, and don't put words in my mouth. Not over a million dollars. All right. Thank you. Very good. Uh, we've up, we have a motion. We have a, a second. All in favor? Opposed? Four to one. Thank you. Uh, Thank Mr. you. Mr. Chairman, I, I do need to uh, beg the board's indulgence at the end of the meeting to go back into a non-public session to continue a discussion we had earlier. Okay. Thanks. 